Welcome to my e-bike series. In this series, I modify one of my bicycles to be electric. If you haven't seen part one, I suggest you watch it first. There's a link down below. Last week, we finished off having installed the rack on the bike, and we had put together the battery box and mounted the controller. It is currently winter, and roads are sometimes covered in tracks of ice and snow. I would like to keep control of my bike, uh, so I decided to buy these Schwalbe Marathon studded winter tires. Now, as temperatures decrease, rubber hardens and that lowers the amount of traction you're going to get out of your tires. So these tires are made from a softer rubber and they also feature metal studs for gripping on ice. Right there. So it's going to go on like this. Start by pushing one side of the tire into the rim. Next step would be to install the tube. So you just take the tube out of the box. This is what you actually pump your air into. Connect my air hose. I'm just gonna inflate this until it's a circle. So, now I align the tube with the hole for the valve stem. Be very careful not to pinch the tube. I lightly begin pushing it under. Now for the very last part, you may need to to use a tool just to pry the tire bead into the rim because it gets very hard towards the end as you get less slack on the tire. Well, stem on this is hardly accessible. I'm hoping that changes. It's just because the rim on this particular tire is double walled, so our valve stem is barely sticking out at all. In fact, I don't even know if that's good enough to make it seal. Here I install the cycle analyst. This is the main viewport into what the bike is doing. 
It has a watt meter, a speedometer, an odometer, it also displays the pedal assist setting and the battery charge level. Here I install the pedal assist sensor. The red object you see contains a magnetic sensor. As you pedal, the magnets mounted to the pedal pass the red sensor, allowing the controller to know how fast you're pedaling. Based on this, it controls the throttle to assist you in pedaling, effectively multiplying your pedal power on the bike. Now last video I explained that the controller cable holes were not sealed in any manner, so I decided to put the controller's front end inside a junction box. To seal the joint between the controller and the junction box, I am just using ordinary silicone. Lastly, I decided I needed a lock to keep Average Joe from opening up the battery box and messing around. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I would encourage you to like and subscribe, and if possible, share the video. It really helps out the channel. If you would like to always know when I upload a new video, and for occasional updates, follow me on Twitter. As always, links below.